Uh, hi, good evening, and uh, thanks for watching this uh, video. Uh, tonight, uh, yep, almost night. So, um, uh, so today is uh, Wednesday, uh, July 18th, 2018, and we're here back at the uh, Sony's um, uh, flagship showroom here in Causeway Bay, uh, East Point Center, and. Um, uh, previously, I covered uh, the uh, some of the uh, Sony camcorders, uh, the uh, the ENG camcorders, and I also showed, also showed you the, um, the what the true uh, well cam uh, system re uh, video system frequency settings should be, and what mode that uh, uh, you know every uh, I mean did, I mean did different uh, video recording modes, say XAVCS or AVC HD, you know the type of uh, settings that you should be. Uh, included so uh, today I'm uh, moving to the uh, more consumer oriented um, cameras so we have a Alpha 7 Mark 3 and I just uh, tested and I want to show you a couple of things that you could say uh, is a problem that Sony will need to um, uh, uh, look into so so here okay it's, so first of all, I'm going to uh, uh, test the uh, the, uh, the system frequency change. So again, it's Hong Kong, so uh, uh, camera hardware uh, are all uh, power default. So so basically, same thing. So wait a while till the system reboots. And as you can see, this is the only one instance of next screen running of NTSC that would uh, display here. So we do a um, hard press session. It's gone. Turn off camera. And turn it back on. And as you can see, there is no more NTSC uh, running on NTSC next screen. But with previous uh, um, our camera models like the Alpha 9 and uh, whatever, uh, every time you turn it on, you're going to get the next screen. Uh, that is uh, unless uh, you're able to hack the camera and have the uh, Play Memories uh, application installed, where you could, um, uh, you know, switch on the clocking of the uh, the uh, next screen. But that doesn't mean uh, that doesn't make your, your camera uh, camera you know, free of the uh, so-called uh, hair or NTSC tagging because the tagging still exists. It's just that you're just clocking the uh, the next screen. So, still not a good idea. And then, of course, with the Alpha 9, there's no uh, provision for uh, uh, custom apps installation. So, there's no way you can do the hack. So, uh, I'm not sure about the uh, Alpha 7 Mark 3, but uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, those um, uh, play memories hack. So, in fact, everything here is demonstrated as, as uh, original as possible. So, as you can see, okay, let's turn it off again. And uh, turn again. So right now we're in uh, NTSC framing route, no more uh, next screen. So that next screen you know, upon uh, um, system reboot would be the only times that you see the, the next screen. But when you turn the switch track to power, there's no next screen, no, no running on power. So that makes it the camera still being labeled as either power or NTSC and that's not the good thing. So the so, uh, second thing I want to show you. Is uh, now I mentioned the uh, you know, uh, the uh, the possibility of Sony trying to um, deprecate the uh, AVC HD video standard. So, uh, so I'm going to show. You. So now we're in the HD AVC uh, S high definition. There's 4K. There's have that, that definition. So. The third is AVC HD, and then that should have been a fourth MP4, but that only um, occurred in the older camera models. So that's uh, okay. We're in uh, high def, so I'm going to show you all the uh, wonderful settings here 60p, uh, 50, 50 max, 25, 30, well, and then of course, as your 120, slightly less than 120p, of course. So these are the recording uh, rates. So now we go to uh, 4K and here are the settings. So uh, so the maximum bit rate, I mean the frame rate with 30p or 29.97p for an AC. So let's go back and 
and now we switch to ABC HD and I'm gonna confirm the fears now here's the problem now it used to be that uh, Sony has included the various um, uh, mo uh, shooting modes uh, settings so now we only uh, we only, we only down to two um, 60i or 50i Impel um, interlaced video settings so one in 24 mbps and the other one in uh, 17 mbps there should have been a 28 mbps uh, 60p or 50p mode that has disappeared and uh, again along with a few other uh, 30 no no there's no 30 no more 30 p modes with ABHD. this is 24p and uh, so that should have been uh, at least three more settings here but now with the newer uh, Sony camera models, including the uh, the RX100 Mark V and Mark 6s, uh, it's going to be like this, and I'm going to show you in a little bit. So this again is the Alpha 7 Mark III, and we're running into this. So, so this is one I'm really I'm not very happy because uh, there are times then when the uh, ABC is still still being preferred. Uh, uh, as a video format because it has been used uh, around 10 years for, for, for almost 10 years but uh, most likely in Sony's case uh, the company is trying to push the XAVC-S in other words uh, with, a, with a chroma sampling of 4, 4, uh, 4 to 2 to 0 and, uh, and a color bit of uh, 8 bits not very impressive until you get the uh, true XAVC with uh, 4 to 2 uh, 4 bit, but it's not going to happen with uh, to uh, uh, consumer grade cameras. But I think uh, XAVCS is still very good, depending on how you look at it. So, so maybe, yeah. oops, okay. So, what? So, maybe that's the reason why Sony is starting to deprecate the AVC HD mode in, uh, in favor of this. So, I'm a little concerned. And uh, it will be interesting how um, how fast Sony would uh, would go regarding this uh, uh, you know video settings inconvenience and I'm pretty sure most of the local um, uh, uh, you know uh, tech media have not covered this. But I have the response to tell uh, the folks here online from a global basis because you know sometimes uh, it seems that even the uh, foreign media. Um, I have not noticed that. So, so I've covered two things about the next screen and the uh, the deprecation AB60. So, so, uh, so that's it with the Alpha 7 Mark III. It is a this is a very nice, a great camera. You know, 24 million pixels. General in, in general, for for general, it's just very nice. You might not need an uh, Alpha 7 R uh, 3 unless you're shooting uh, really high depth stuff or you're into uh, studio photography that kind of things or um, well it really depends on workflow as well so if you want 42 uh, million pixels then you need to make sure that your computer equipment are complying with the workflow but for general users and uh, high amateurs this is a great camera except with uh, the, the pitfalls with the uh, video system frequency so Sony will need to do more uh, to fix it, uh, or else um, the uh, international audience will continue to balk at Sony for you know having this kind of labeling. So, so uh, up next we'll uh, go to the uh, the uh, RX series booth and we're going to take a look at the um, the RX100 series cameras. So stay tuned.